why I prefer the Note t- the Note 20 Ultra over the Note 10 Plus. Now, I like both of these devices. <laughs> That's why I have both of them. I love Note devices. I've been a Note fan since the Note 3. So I've had the Note 3 all the way up until the Note 20 Ultra. This is the last official Note device because now the S22 Ultra is, you know, supposed to be the Note. That's basically what it is. It's just not called the Note. And I really like the Note name, but it's basically a Note. That's what I'm saying. But I want to give you 11 reasons why I prefer the Note 20 Ultra over the Note 10 Plus. Of course, these are both premium devices both top tier, both flagship devices. Note 10 Plus came out in 20, uh, 20, 2019 and the Note 20 Ultra came out in 2020. Now the first thing, the first reason why I like the Note 20 Ultra over that of the Note 10 Plus is the design. So you can see they both have different designs and I do like the design of the Note 10 Plus. Don't get me wrong. This is a very elegant, beautiful, business-like type of design. But with the Note 20 Ultra, they just took it to a whole nother level. Um, I love the color. And I love those cameras, the way they have them. You know, you can see the circle, you know, around the cameras, how they're the same color as the back of the phone. I, I just love this look. Now, originally when I first saw this, design I didn't like it because I thought this design was so much better now at the end of the day it comes down to personal preference some people like the design of Note 10 Plus better so it really doesn't matter that's all subjective that's all personal preference but I do like the design of the Note 10 I mean the Note 20 Ultra over the Note 10 Plus but I like both designs also when you talk about the design I love the fact that this phone has a frosted back, unlike the Note 10 Plus, where it just has a glossy back, which is a fingerprint magnet. This, if you use this with our case, no fingerprints whatsoever. So this is the first time they had ever given a Note device a frosted or a matte finished back, which I absolutely love. I love the way it feels and it's not as slippery. Still a little slippery for me, I guess, because I have dry hands, but not as slippery and as the uh, glossy bag and definitely not a fingerprint magnet. So I love the design as well as that frosted back. And that's something they really should have had for the Note 10 Plus. Next, let's talk about the build quality. Now the build quality is another reason why I prefer the Note 20 Ultra over the Note 10 Plus. You got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and the back, which is a better Gorilla Glass than the Gorilla Glass 6 on the Note 10 Plus. Reason why I say that, because I have some very deep and bad scratches on this device. So the Gorilla Glass 6 was definitely not good when it came to scratches, you know, resistant scratches. I don't know if you can see how bad that scratch is, but it comes from here all the way across. I don't really know if you can see it, but it's on there and it's really bad and you can see it really. Let me wipe it down a little bit. Maybe you can see it better. Maybe you'll be in. I know in daylight, I can see it really, really good. Do you see it? I'm not sure if y'all can see it or not, but it comes from here all the way down here. And it's, it's pretty bad. And when I'm using my S Pen, it kind of affects the S Pen because of these grooves that are in here are so deep. I mean, they're, they're really bad. And with the Note 20 Ultra, I have zero scratches. I don't even have any micro scratches on this device like nothing and I've had this in my pocket with my keys no scratches at all no micro scratches nothing like nothing so definitely like the build quality of the Note 20 Ultra over the Note 10 Plus next let's talk about the size of the displays now with the Note 10 Plus you got a 6.8 inch uh, display and with the Note 20 Ultra you got a 6.9 inch display now for most people it's not gonna matter because it's just an inch but I'm telling you when you hold these side by side or if you hold them in your hand you could definitely notice the difference with the six with the um, Note 10 with the Note 20 Ultra being 6.9 inches it's just a bigger footprint 
And when you're looking at content, especially like this, it just looks like you're having like a small flat screen TV in your, in your hand. I loved it. I, I love giant phones. I mean, that's just me. I know everybody don't like big phones, but I love big giant phones. And I love the fact that it's 6.9 inches. Now, I wouldn't go 7 inches, but 6.9 is actually great for me. So I like the fact that this display is an inch larger. Next, let's talk about the brightness of the displays. So with the Note 10 Plus, it goes up to 1200 nits peak brightness. And with the Note 20 Ultra, 1500 nits peak brightness. So this definitely gets definitely a lot brighter than the Note 10 Plus. Now that's not gonna matter to everybody because most people don't do like me. I always have all of my devices at 100% brightness. I like my devices super bright. I like them maxed out. That's me. But when you're talking about viewing content, you know, being able to see your phone outside, you're going to see, you can see what both, but you're going to see it even better on the Note 20 Ultra because it's three times 300 nits brighter than that of the Note 10 Plus. So... That's another reason why I prefer the Note 20 Ultra over the Note 10 Plus. Next, let's talk about refresh rate. Now, there is no re high refresh rate on the Note 10 Plus. However, on the Note 20 Ultra, you get 120 hertz refresh rate. Now, for me, it does matter. It makes a difference because when you're perform when you know when you're going in and out of apps and you're scrolling, it's just so much smoother and faster on the Note 20 Ultra. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, the refresh rate on here looks bad. It don't. But once you, once you start using a phone with a high refresh rate, it's a, it really is hard to go back to 60 hertz. Now, you can. You eventually adjust if you went back to 60 hertz. But when you get used to that buttery smoothness, that speed of the 120 hertz, you don't want to go back to a lower refresh rate. You just don't. Now, at minimum, when the Note 10 Plus was released... It should have had at least a 90 hertz refresh rate minimum. But for some reason, Samsung decided to skip over 90 hertz and go straight to 120 with the Note 20 Ultra. So that's another reason why I prefer the Note 20 Ultra over the Note 10 Plus. Next, performance. Now, both of these devices perform very well, but the Note 20 Ultra is more responsive. When I'm touching, you know, the... the, the um. You know, the screen, it's just much, way more responsive. Every Everything just, just is instant. It's just, everything is just instant. Now, I'm not saying that this is slow, but it's not quite as fast as the uh, Note 20 Ultra. But it still works fine, as you can see. But it's just not as fast. This is just faster and more responsive. Next. The speakers. Now, both have dual stereo speakers tuned by AKG, but the speakers get much louder and they sound better on that of the Note 20 Ultra. And I'm the type of person when I'm viewing content, I don't want to use headphones. I like to just view my content without headphones. I, You know, it allows me to enjoy the stereo speakers a lot more. So the speakers are another reason why I prefer the Note 20 Ultra over the Note 10 Plus because... I love good sounding speakers and I love speakers to be loud and they are definitely louder than that of the Note 10 Plus. Next, now let's talk button placement. And this is a really, really big deal for me. I'm not saying it's a big deal for everybody, but it's a big deal for me. On the Note 10 Plus, and I'm sorry, I just didn't get used to, I just couldn't get used to this. All the buttons on the left side of the phone, I absolutely hated it. And never could get used to, it, especially the power button being on the left. Now, I know people that are left handed <laughs> was loving that, that it was on the left. But me, no, I'm right handed. And Samsung has always had the power button on the right hand side on their devices. So when they put it on the left, I never could get used to that. And I absolutely hated it. But to avoid being irritated all the time, I just double tap the sleep to screen. I just did it that way. But sometime I would remember and I would do like that. But I, I just hate it. I hated that button placement. And I never really liked the volume buttons being on the left. That's just, I just never liked that. 
But with the Note 20 Ultra, total opposite. Everything's on the right. Power button is low, easy to get to. Volume rockers right above it. I love the button placement of the Note 20. That's a big deal for me. That's a really, really big deal. I, I just I never could get used to the power button being on the left. Just couldn't get used to that. Next, a smaller front-facing camera. Now, this wasn't a really big deal when I had the Note 10 Plus, but I can't lie, I do like the fact that it's so much smaller on the Note 20 Ultra. I like that, okay? I like that. It makes it even less visible. So I do like the fact that that front-facing camera is much, much smaller. Next. When it comes to software updates, no more for the Note 10 Plus. Now, it does have a year of security patches left on it, but no more software updates, no more One UI updates. Android 12 was the last software update for this device. However, with the Note 20 Ultra, you are going to get Android 13 and One UI 5.0. So, you got another year. Of software updates and two more years of security patches and the next and last thing the cameras on the note 20 ultra are better than that of the note 10 plus both take great pictures and video both but the cameras on the note 20 ultra are just better they're brighter they're more vibrant you got a 108 megapixel main a uh, wide camera with auto laser focus Laser autofocus, I'm sorry. 15 times zoom on the video and 50 times zoom on the photos. And these cameras, you can see how big they are. So they let in more light. I'm telling you, when it, and video on here is so super smooth and clear. These are just better cameras. They just are. Much, they are superior to that of the Note 10 Plus. Now, the Note 10 Plus still takes really good uh, photos and videos no issues with that but these are just better and you know you expect that every year with samsung with their devices they especially with the cameras because it seems like they focus on the cameras more than they do anything else the cameras are always going to be better for the most part um just like the s21 ultra the cameras on that phone were a little bit better than the note 10 plus because they were much brighter they let in more light even though they were pretty much the same you know to a degree but you had um you had 20 times i think video zoom on that and you had 100 times zoom on a photo and also you had um something called uh zoom lock where if you zoomed in 30 times you could lock it and you won't have all that shaking and stuff you don't have zoom lock on the note 20 ultra so those that's the re those are all the reasons why i prefer the note 20 ultra over that of the note 10 plus but let me say this with the Note 10 Plus, you are going to get faster charging speeds. This is 45 watt um, capable if you get a 45 watt charging brick. With the with the S Pen is on the right, not the left, like it's on here. Also, the speaker is on the right where it belongs on here. It's on the left. And also, the reverse wireless charging is faster on the Note 10 Plus at 9 watts as opposed to 4.5 watts on the Note 20 Ultra. So those are the things that are that are better as far as the Note 10 Plus is over that of the Note 20 Ultra. But other than that, this is an upgrade over the Note 10 Plus. And they both have expandable storage up to one terabyte, which I know is important to a lot of people, especially to me. <laughs> I need expandable storage. That's why I am not at all interested in any of Samsung's newer devices, the Note, the S22 Ultra, the S22, I don't care about none of those devices because they don't offer any expandable storage. And to start out at 128 gigs is a slap in the face to Samsung consumers. Y'all been giving us expandable storage for years and then you take, they just keep taking away stuff that we like. I don't like that. I'm sorry. I'm just not buying those newer devices. They that's Expandable storage is something they need to bring back. And... We are the consumers. We are the ones that have to speak up and let Samsung know we want expandable storage back on our devices. We want it back. You know, just like they did with the Note Note 5. They took it away with the Note 7. They brought it back. So we got to complain 
we got to say something. Email them. Leave your comments down in the comment section. You got to let them know. Bring back expandable storage. We want that back. So thank you for taking the time to view this content. I do appreciate it. Hope everybody out there is staying safe and staying well. Please subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.